the city of Sacramento making an aggressive move to keep the peace. Seven people have been named in a lawsuit banning them from the Broadway corridor of downtown Sacramento known for crime. The seven people are described as repeat offenders of assault, being drunk in public, shoplifting, drug use, and trespassing. Customer kind of shying away because they try to avoid them. Business owners like Patrick Ho applauding the city, saying their livelihoods are negatively impacted. Sacramento City Attorney Susana Alcala Wood filed the suit on August 9th, naming Sean Connor, Michael DiBiasio, Dimitri Gologiuk, Troy Green, Kelvin Peterson, Joseph Soto, and Kenneth Whitlock. In a statement, she wrote, in this case, the residents and businesses along the Broadway corridor have been subjected to ongoing criminal activity from a relatively small group of people. I've dealt with homeless all over. And, Business owner you know. Jen Hall says it's tough to attract customers when the repeat offenders who are described as homeless are camped right outside her front door. We had a uh, homeless gal that knew one it on the block um, that was hanging out right in this area and it was right before I opened up for the afternoon and we had to come and get her out of here and she went there was a little bit of trouble but she finally went after so many words. The lawsuit states that a disproportionate amount of police resources have been dedicated to addressing criminal activity in this area, and the seven people named are repeat offenders. Although Hall would like to keep the repeat offenders out of the area, she says banning them isn't the answer. If you ban them from being in one location, they're just going to go to another and could cause another nuisance. So I think that's a temporary fix. And most of the business owners we spoke with today say they're glad that the city is doing something about it, but it's uh, doubtful that this move will likely fix the big problem. Reporting live in Sacramento, Walter McCullough, KCR3 News.